Hey, it's the Home Critic, back with another review. I know, this time it didn't really take two weeks to make one, but that's because I just saw The Nice Guys, a movie that was so good I had to talk about it right away. Now, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about, this is the new movie that came out last weekend featuring Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, directed by Shane Black. I feel like it might be getting lost among all the bigger titles like the X-Men, the Civil Wars, the other big name movies of the summer, but it's getting a lot of praise from the critics, so I decided to go see it, and I gotta say, this is one of the most entertaining movies I've seen yet. So if you're looking for a really good movie to see, I highly suggest The Nice Guys. Now the premise might not sound a little interesting at first, but trust me it is. Ryan Gosling plays a private detective called Holland March. He doesn't really have his personal life altogether right now. I think his wife recently died, he's a single father, and he's got a drinking problem, and he's kind of a con man. And he later teams up with Russell Crowe's character, Jackson Healy, who's basically muscle for hire, but he's got a bit of a moral cold to him, one of those big guys with a heart of gold. And while the whole unlikely duo buddy cop thing might kind of seem cliched, the way that this movie does it is really refreshing, and I really enjoyed it because it wasn't really sticking with the cliched crime mystery genre. I think the way that they went about the film, it was really entertaining, and it was also filled with a lot of laughs along the way. And also the relationship that Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling's character forms isn't like they're instantly friends. Like in fact, they're kind of like butting heads a little bit, but as the movie goes on, they start to gradually work together better and better. And by the end, they're kind of genuinely friends. So I really just liked how the relationship progressed and it wasn't anything forced and it didn't feel like the usual buddy cop genre. They're both investigating a case that somewhat relates to the recent death of an adult film star and naturally the case isn't what it seems and it starts to get bigger and bigger and involve more people and it kind of it kind of ends up on a pretty grand scale and that's what I really liked about the movie and I gotta say for a movie with a premise like this the investigation of a recent adult film star this is the most interesting sophisticated um, plot involving porn that I've ever really seen so I gotta give it credit for that because at first I didn't think it would be interesting but as I'm watching it the plot just kept building on top of itself and I thought that it led to a place that made sense and it wasn't too outrageous and it was actually very entertaining and I was enjoying the film up until that point but once I kind of once a certain character kind of reveals the story or the plot that's going on I was like wow this is pretty interesting. Um, definitely not what I expected and that's definitely partly what made this movie so much fun. This movie also plays very nicely in a 1970s LA setting. Everything about the movie just gave you the vibes. It was very clear what period they were in and I thought that the atmosphere and the setup was very well done. And I already talked about the characters and these two guys kind of carry most of the film but I think what made this movie um, also so entertaining is the fact that it's so funny. Like, I also saw Neighbors 2, review for that coming up next, um, the same day that I saw The Nice Guys. And I gotta say, between the two movies, I think The Nice Guys might be funnier. And it's not to say that Neighbors 2 isn't funny, because it is. It's just that this movie isn't an outright comedy, but the way that it integrates humor and the way that it integrates its jokes is just done so well. And it's just, Ryan Gosling is pretty damn funny in this movie. I didn't really think of him as a comedic person, but his physical comedy and the way that he plays his character, it just has you laughing the whole way through. And uh, like every couple minutes, there's humor injected into the film. So it has a very light feel to it, despite the fact that this is like a murder mystery. And I just really enjoyed that because like, there aren't many movies that keep you laughing the whole way through. And this one does. And like I said, Ryan Gosling does a great job with the comedic timing in this movie. Russell Crowe also does a good job, and I just think that the script was just well done and it just incorporated humor very well into it without seeming like outright or in your face trying to make you laugh. It's just integrated into the plot and integrated into the characters' personalities and the way they interact. The only thing that I found kind of weird about this movie is at the end, I feel like they have the standard um, mandatory shootout. You know, when like everyone kind of comes together after this certain thing and everyone's shooting at one another. And the reason why this kind of felt weird is because in most crime mystery films, um, there's like plenty of shootouts throughout the whole thing. And those movies kind of play more by the beats and by a certain formula. And this movie, it was kind of story driven up until that point. And then you have like 
actually you have two shootouts and the only reason why this felt kind of weird to me was because I felt like now these two characters were going further than they had to go with this case and they were two sensible people so I could have easily saw them saying let's just forget this and walk away from it but I guess since they're nice guys they felt like they had to follow through which isn't bad and that's not to say that the scenes aren't well done they are and it isn't to say also that they're kind of ridiculous and that they each take out a hundred people I mean for the most part they play the scene out the way their characters should they're maybe taking on one or two people at a time but for the most part um, they're not exactly going like 300 on them and killing like everybody um, but like I said it just felt kind of weird because it just felt like we had to have a shootout in this movie for the sake of having one but that's the only weird thing. I still thought it was really well done. It doesn't take away from the movie. Um, overall, this movie is hilarious. The characters are great. The story is great. The setting and the setup in 1970s LA is great. And I just think this movie is just, again, one of the most entertaining films I've seen in a while. And that's, that's quite a feat. Hopefully now I've convinced you, if you wanted a good movie to see this Memorial Day weekend, go watch The Nice Guys. You can also go watch X-Men and then check out my review that I posted yesterday. And I'm not going to tell you what to do, but here's what I suggest. Step 1. Share this video with your friends on Twitter and Facebook or however else you share it. Step 2. After they've seen this video and they say, I want to go see Nice Guys, go and watch it with them. Step 3. If you really like this video, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. I'll be sure to post more reviews in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.